okay guys so i'm going to do a very very brief uh brief of of a gui uh the same thing i introduced the other day so i'm just going to take a few minutes eh? it's what we're going to use so i'll really urge you you do the same uh, if you can't really get it you can just copy paste it for now but i know with time you'll get it so i'll i'll start by first creating a new project so the procedure is still the same select java ant java application then you click on next this time we'll uncheck this main class eh? we only want our application to have a i'll call it a, i'll call it pos uh, okay let me just this is the main class but i know i won't need it for now so there's our project i run this i run in this main class uh inside this package i'll uh, i'll add a new not java class but what we call a jframe eh? jframe is that uh, that that GUI component eh? it is the root component is where everything now comes on i'll call it uh, i'll call it dashboard 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 let me call it just dash keep it simple then i'll click on finish you can see the program icon is a little bit different okay you can see the <coughs> class icon it's still a java class and that's why it has the dot java extension but uh, it's what we call an inherited class it's a class called dash but it's inheriting from a class called jframe eh? so if you can check this is our class name we said extends means it is inheriting so it's inheriting component from this class called jframe in the package javax.swing.jframe okay back to design so i'm going to make a very very simple dashboard uh, we said we're going to make a very simple dashboard for a computer shop to manage their computer that is in terms of sale uh, stock and what else profits they make so it's something very very simple so first of all because this is my jframe eh? this is like my bug where my components will come last time i explained a little of swing co containers and swing controls so containers is just a, like the jframe itself it's a container eh? where you can put something eh? there's a mozi in uh, what do you call them in columns eh? so we can use a panel to do that so just simply pick a component and drag it over here and drop so I'll let this panel fill the whole of this the whole of that the whole of the jframe then right click on it check on properties uh, then I'll change the background color to a faint color like so anything else i need to change just that that's, that's enough uh then i'll pick uh let me see let me see let me let me pick uh let me let me reduce it design is how you design it there's no uh correct way of doing it so control it to duplicate so that i can have to i want to make one for my heading like so then i'll pick, pick a label here drop it here and this label i'll call it a what is the name let me call this elpo okay we called it we called it blue space eh? blue space blue space computers management system something of the sort Blue space computer management system. Let me just add software like so. Uh, then uh, I'll right click on it to edit. So I'll right click, select properties, click on fonts. I don't know if I'm too fast. Uh, allow me to use Timer for Roman. Then I'll select bold. Give it something like 24. Eh? 
yeah let me see this one can't tell if it's okay then i'll change the color eh? so click on now uh, <coughs> i'll click on now uh, where's the color is the color is the color foreground foreground let me see Choop. yeah the blue will do just blue space thing uh anything else i need to change so the rest you'll come and play them around there eh? Vertical alignment is center of the run is okay. Tool tip. I don't need that one. Uh, okay, for now that runs okay. So a label it works it's just to you know label components and a label whatever you want the application to look like. Uh, this one is so big, I think I'll reduce it in size. Hold on control, select the other one, then you can uniformly decrease it. Management system software there it's still big <clears throat> let me reduce this one alone Okay, then reduce this other one. Then reduce our J-frame. Yeah, I know sometimes they can give you a hell of a trouble, so you simply just have to play with them around. But then I just make sure your work is arranged neatly because this time you're not making it for someone who knows programming, it's for someone who doesn't know anything about this one. He only wants something clean okay i think that will do so you can simply always save and preview from there preview it according to when you can that is before you do any more damages if you think damages of course you know it's more uh let me see let me see let me preview again uh, I'll, I'll give it some board for both of them so that i can show the boundaries so right click on this uh, panel and i'll say border Currently no border, so I'll say a line border. Round corners no nope. thickness. I'll select uh, two it's enough. The color is black, of course. Black will do like so. That's okay. No, that is not that. That is not what I want. I want the panel. That one. Right click and make sure when you're right clicking on a component is your intended component, eh? because I know sometime sometimes you can easily click on uh, the wrong component you wanted to click on uh, you wanted to click on uh, the panel but you end up clicking on the the label so i think that is okay that is okay then i'm gonna add my fields here of course this dashboard will be using it to enter because anytime you have new stock we have to input the stock we have to indicate a uh, the ID, if there's an ID, we have to indicate the name, we have to indicate the brand because it's a laptop. So I'll use a label. I'll have a number of fields here. So this other one, first one, I'll call it ID. Like so, let me edit before. ID properties, I'll also give it a times new Roman, then I'll give it bold italic. And give it 14 and see. 14 is small. 14, 18, uh, 24. Yeah, that's better. That's 24. Horizontal alignment now. Center. Anything else? Vertical alignment, okay. That should be fine. Then, uh, of course, where they'll be entering that ID. And for that, I'll need what we call a text field. So a label labels, a text field is where the user now enters their data. Yeah, I'm sure if you've done CSS and HTML, you know something about a text field. So I'll also edit this one. Uh, first of all, wrap that text. Uh -huh. Change it to Times New Roman, bold, it was, uh, can you use 18, 18, 18, it's okay. 
then horizontal alignment i'll say center which other thing which other thing text i remove the text mm -hmm. background still is white i think that's all that's all if you want to check again you can easily preview so that's i wanted it to look like and then because i'm going to have a number instead of again coming and dragging another label and doing the same same editing because it's the same same interface that means they love the same same editing i can easily click on them and copy Control c and paste Control v eh? or Control z if you're using mac uh -huh. so let me let me let me arrange them here let me just let me name for name them first so this one is a uh, id that is the name of the product this one looks a little bit larger let me let me reduce the font 24 jesus i think i think it should be okay yeah i don't want something too very much bigger so do the same for this one and make sure you have this one because next week this is what we shall be using i'm trying to be as quick as possible because of time but this is a video you can easily pause playback uh, i'm selecting if you want to select and i'm realizing that select this is what I, uh, you click on this text field uh, hold on control that is press control and hold it then click on the others eh, for multi selection then if you drag this that you drag the keywords out eh. so instead of doing the same for this one i can easily delete uh, select that one select this one control d to duplicate eh. i'm a controls control c copy control v or control z to paste that will be the name okay id name uh, then we can have something like uh, name we can have something like price price what else can we have we can have date So I'm simply duplicating a eh? copy and pasting. I'm duplicating control D that is ID, name, price, date, the laptop. So I can have something like brand over here. Brand. How many is this? One, two, three, four, five. These are five, and we can have uh, I think those are enough. Oh, we can add a picture, eh? image, image, image. So image uh, copy paste. I'll arrange them. Eh? I'll simply arrange them. Oh, they stop on something. Uh -uh. Oh. Oh, but then it was just okay. Let me just leave it there. It's way much larger when I'm done. I'll simply reduce the size. Eh? Uh huh. So allow me to arrange this one first. So ID name, uh -huh. this can be there. Push it to the other side a little bit. So if you push it to an energy line, eh? energy line, those lines indicate they're on the same straight line. So like so. Then this one push it a little this side name can be a little bit longer price can be a little bit longer date can be longer uh, i keep playing with them around eh? nope.
Yeah, but develop when they give you trouble arranging, eh? Developers in an impact at this or arrange. But anyway, it's something you'll get used to. Yes. That one looks neat. Mm -hmm. Push it down a little bit there. Push them up a little, they're too very much closer, like so. Push them up a little, like so. They're too much closer. Up, up. Push it again a little. Come on, come on. There. And brand. That one will go there. Then uh, it's supposed to be the image or picture of that laptop or whatever the item you're having. I'll need somewhere to input that image. So, what can I use? Ooh, text area. No. Text area can do. Yeah, I think I'll. I can use a text area for that. Like soap. Uh, let me let me change the background. Background is white. Let me change it to something like uh, this color. Just something to note the different. Do you have a text? We don't have any text. Okay, good. So image will go there. Then uh, I love something like a table. Eh? Do I have a table here? Table it's here. We'll drag it over here. Uh -huh. Shall I have a table here? So the table will contain whatever we have in stock. So if you want something new, it should, it should appear there. We should be able to see it. If we delete something, we should be able to see it. If you sell something, you should be able to see uh, the quantity reducing. Talking of the quantity, I need to delete how to get quantity. All thing ID, name, price, date, brand. Anyway, let us keep it simple. So, to read this table, simply right click and select on table contents and not properties. So, for a table, you select on table contents, uh, user specified. Okay, so these are the columns. So, I can either delete them or just rename. Select this one, I'll call it ID. It's an integer. This other one I can call it name. Name that is that is the name of a name is a string. We can have a, we can have price 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 is float. But we can change that one. Eh? Then after price we can have date. Date again is a string. Uh, make sure and I check this one. Cannot be resized, cannot be edited depot by the user. Okay, I'll just have a new one. Mm, this will be brand. Brand, like so. Brand is string. So I check this one. Okay, so I'll want the, then the rows uh, simply delete because they'll be filled from a database. So you won't need these ones, you won't be filling them manually. Yeah, so something like this. And uh, then uh, let me see, let me give it some space and uh, So that things can be visible. If you want to edit again the font styles, you can simply right click and select properties. 
I'll give it bold, I'll give it times new Roman, um, so I can give it 12 so that most of my things can be visible foreground yeah like we'll do uh, let me change to um, okay this dark color over here but right now you won't be able to see but once we have some data you'll be able to see so if i preview my application this is how it will be looking eh looks amazing right uh, okay so i'm only remaining with one thing i need to add a few buttons here a button to insert to update to delete uh, to select the first item last item uh, something of the sort actually this is uh, the idea of this software uh, when i was learning java from years back eh, the first thing i ever did that <laughs> made me so proud of this thing i made such an application from a video from youtube eh? I'm sure we can out of town as a pattern, a video of someone demonstrating something similar to this. So that's what I did, and uh, it really inspired me. It's the same upon the as I could take as a software because from that same same concept, the meeting is so many POS using the same same idea. And there, another reason why I like these projects because it tries to cover a number, a number of uh, uh, containers and controls will usually use it eh? because I love an image I love a text as well as I have a table I love various buttons for various work uh, then allow me to change this one because we we have a number of brands so uh, let me remove this one and instead have what we call a combo eh? so that we can select because we only know you have HP Lenovo so we can select so you can make it that big right click on it then select properties uh, i'll start with the font times new roman bold 14 like the rest open the rest of 14 then uh, you can modify the item the first one is a uh, Select this will be the selected one. Eh? Select select brand. Eh? Just select brand. Then you can have the first one as HP. Then you can have the other one as Lenovo. Lenovo. You can have Toshiba. I can have Dell. I can have uh, which one do you know? Asus. Can have uh, Gani Gini Gateway. Can have Mac. Which other one? Okay, so it's Metosh. There are many. Yeah, there are many. Yeah. And allow me to preview this one so that I just see how it appears. Yeah, select brand. Then you click on it. There's a drop down. Eh? We call this one a uh, combo box not drop down menu drop down menu is something else different and by the way i hope my voice is kind of visible because feeling like i'm straining a little bit uh -uh, i mean it's so big so, but i guess i'm doing i'm doing yeah so that i get over to get over to make sure these are still online then save Okay, we are good. Uh, Pacini, I'll input the buttons. So, drag and drop a button here. So, we shall have one button here for choosing an image because I know uh, by default when we are inputting, eh, of course, I'll have to choose from file. Eh? Oh, I forgot to double click. Uh, right click, select properties. Uh, can give it a different style. Tahoma, Tahoma, Tahoma. Say, say, go, it's okay, it's okay. I like this one. Bold italic. 14, say, okay. Text is a uh, button one. I can say this one is choose bullet. Choose like so. Because what now? <laughs> choose image. Choose image, choose. 
we can say select image is our uh, allow me to copy and paste in this one then drag it down here then this one uh, make sure it fills all of this there's, there's no standard way of doing it then I'll put chain here I'll add my buttons here uh -uh. it's supposed to double click yeah the first one is add Copy paste. Paste. Uh, let me add one. Paste. Then there's so many things we can do with it. We can add images if you want. We can use a background image instead of just having a color. You can do that one. And all those things, as you the properties. So select your component, come under properties. Ah, my internet is doing that thing. Ah, come under properties. Eh? Kuna, kuna background. Let me see if there's an option for background image with of talk which you very close line board oh, this is our panel this is our panel yeah you can find it under icon 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 and anyway, if you're interested in that you'll go and look for it there but i can see come on if you just type in your google in your in your, in your google search engine eh? just one line of where can i find something You'll always find another eh? so see to Then I'll encourage you guys to check on Stack Overflow. If you get stuck somewhere, just go there and try to find the solution. Kuna vitu wase wana posting. Some are dated, some are outdated, but kwanga po you check. Eh? Oh, sorry. Slowly. So that is add. Then we have to update button. Then kuna delete. Then kuna we can have a first to give us the first item. Uh, this can be next item. Then the other one. This can be the last, no, previous. Then I can make one more button here. That will have what we call the last. Last. Like so. Different buttons are going to be panga. If you want them to have icons, you can do that. Uh, let me preview and see my work. Yes, so this is how my Go is looking. This is my dashboard for my Blue Space Computer Management System software. So it's that simple. And uh, I really love it to keep it that way. So make sure you have the same, same thing. Next week, you're doing um, database. We shall be using the same, same way. So still better to talk about and learn Java Swing, of course. And we shall be talking more about Java Swing components. And that is in terms of containers and control and controls, but in relation to database, eh? we shall be able to make sure these buttons work. Eh? The queries and input something called database, then something from the database can be picked and be shown on this table. Eh? And of course, to click on it, to go and attack it, and appear maybe Hapa or anywhere else. Eh? Yes, then we can modify it anyway. To get a say buy, we simply just add two buttons here of selling an item if you sell an item 
of course we can modify and delete eh, so that eh, instead of deleting to a by key to come up with delete anyway anyway we shall keep it this same way so this is what we'll have then something else if you still have time of checking if you don't have that one is okay uh you can still have icons for these images and um, i don't know if i have the application here so let me just pause and check the application if i have there it allows me to adjust colors of this yeah and an option of course are available so let me pick a few uh, uh there is a link to do that simply come on my package right click on it and i'll create a new package called icons eh? icons icons like so yeah then uh this what i need so simply in my file go to document you'll find netbeans my project is called pos src pos you'll find a folder called icons eh? so in doing i'll simply be dragging and dropping the icons inside this folder uh -huh. let me open the pigeons then the first is going to add i can use which one i can use this one for add simply drag it and yeah and like so the other one is update and you may want to try and make sure they they match up i took another one for that one uh, i can change that one let me change the view so that i can see what um yeah so that i can see can see them clearly then delete delete mm, delete 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 it's me on delete uh -huh. which is good for deleting i don't want to use x let me use this small tank small tank or this one this delete message okay then the other one was fast oh, such here so fast 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 can pick this one and then last so this application is quite simple for you instead of coming and making your own uh, your own uh, icons ah uh, call i still use this but uh first okay that was first and last so next next can you do that but i've seen a more better one this is one then you have last oh previous Yes. Let me see it looks like. I can go with this one. Oh, it is a just any. Then I pick my logo from here. So let me type POS. POS, POS, POS. Just pick one that my logo. But for logo, that one you can make. Or if they have one, you can use it something like cell nope. computer computer Got, uh, if i use the little bit confusing I'll find a better icon. I'll find a better icon we can use. Okay. For it is of time, let me not go into that. Then I put my folder as you want to see my icon over here eh, in that package. So if you want to add an icon button, simply click on it. Properties, then click on that. Okay, click on this three dots over here. Then select uh, package, package, packages, POS icons. 
then there there so you can select which one this was add 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 this was add simply click on ok uh, so the basic thing you'll really have a rough time adjusting the sizes but anyway this is how it looks like eh? this is how they look like and it is the same thing you can do for the rest of them i won't go into that the procedure is the same so for mine i'll just leave it there let me preview yeah so that's how my project will be looking and if you want to run because it's something again you can run uh, let me delete this class i no longer need it no longer need it so that i only remain with my frame eh? so if i can run it my project yeah select main class that will be the main class then something else you'll not will swing eh? once you run your project it won't run from here instead it will run as a separate project if you check on your on your taskbar in your idea here and it means then this is your your application by default it doesn't have a title it doesn't it doesn't have an icon that's why it's going with default the java icon but in our next class before to figure for database we shall learn how to we shall learn how to add that one i think that is the next class actually so many do this before tuesday or monday oh i don't have to close all the way i need to show you how it looks like yeah this is how it looks like it's amazing yeah so let me let me customize this and do it back to it like see how it's looking very nice application by the end of uh, next week of course after to learn that uh, we shall make sure to make configure it so that it can run as an independent application eh? away from the net pins of course kitty go complete from there from your assignment will take as a login page you'll come and add on it you said i could like to come and log in just for security purpose but uh, this is what we shall do in fact we shall make something else different what is how it looks like select yeah fill up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah it's looking nothing there's something else let me note this one is not aligned center it's okay you know it's a joke aligned so you see nothing is appearing here Unlike the other time to get runs because in appear Apple, they will put something. So no system dot print out, it's not there. Instead we have we have the labels and the other things and the good to do that. Instead of using my scanner to get something from the user, this time you're using things like text field, you're using compo box, text area, yeah, such kind of things. So I just wanted to make it this way. Uh please hope may watch you and you've understood go and try and make your own the next class to tidy like luck we develop develop until wiki kisha we have a full application that we can run independently and of of, of course it's installed in any machine eh? so, so this is it for now until our next class as usual it has been real adios